Welcome. So we have here a train moving at 10 meters per second, and we have two passengers inside the train that are traveling. But a lot of stuff is not being said right now, and so we need to introduce relative velocity and talk about what we are moving to is always in relation to another thing and understanding how to do that. So we're going to use single characters just to make ourselves have lives a little bit easier. So every time I say A, I mean Adele. Every time I say B, I mean Beyonce. Every time I say G, I mean the ground. And every time I say T, I mean the train. So when I'm saying the 10 meters per second, is the train relative to the ground. So I can write that as the velocity of the train relative to the ground is 10 meters per second. And then since it's a velocity, we are going to have then a direction going in the i-hat direction. If I was on the ground, then right, I would see the train moving at 10 meters per second in positive i. If I am on the train and still, or if I'm a conductor or something like that, and I see the ground, the ground is going to be moving the other way. So I can also say the velocity of the ground relative to the train is going to be the same speed but in the opposite direction. So I can say 10 meters per second negative i hat. I could also say then, moving this negative sign over, negative 10 meters per second in the i hat. This is 100% legal, 100% valid. And what this is first saying is this is saying that, right, swapping subscripts. introduces a minus one factor. So going from TG, train relative to ground, to GT, ground relative to train, right, the difference is it's a minus sign factor. So when I say this three meters per second, that's the velocity of Beyonce relative to the train. So I can say the velocity of Beyonce relative to the train is three meters per second, right, positive i hat. So we might be able to think and feel pretty well that, right, Beyonce relative to the ground Well, just from intuiting it, right, it feels like it should be 13 meters per second. But let's see if we can kind of combine these two to get that. Well, I can do the velocity of Beyonce relative to the train plus the velocity of the train relative to the ground. And as I look in this, I can see that I have two inner subscripts. So I have my two inner subscripts, and they will cancel. I have my first subscript, and I have my last subscript. So what I have is my rule for how to add velocities. the middle or the inner subscripts must be the same. So mathematically, this is the same as VBT plus VTG is the same as VTG plus VBT.
but it's not going to tell us, right, what the subscripts are here. So we want to not do this because, right, our inner subscripts don't match. So we want to rearrange until we have the inner subscripts being the same. When we get this, right, so we're going to rearrange to make it true. Once we have this, then the first subscript of the first term becomes the first subscript. And the second subscript of the second term becomes the second subscript, right? First of first becomes first, second of second becomes second, and then we can just add them up. So we got that VBG. My VBT I found was 3 meters per second plus I hat and VTG 10 meters per second plus I hat. So that gives me the velocity of Beyonce relative to the ground is as we expected 13 meters per second plus I hat. But now we have a little bit of a playground to play with and so what I want you to do is I'm going to present some uh, things and then try to find them. So now find the velocity of Adele relative to Beyonce, the velocity of the ground relative to Beyonce, the velocity of Adele relative to the ground, and give yourself a little bit of time for this and then find the velocity of the train relative to Adele. So pause here and try to find these four, and then we'll come back and deal with them. All right, so we can then talk about VAB. VAB is we have that the velocity of Beyonce relative to the train is 3 meters per second. And then we can write the velocity of Adele relative to the train is 2 meters per second in the negative i hat. So if we tried to add VAT plus VBT, we wouldn't work because the inner subscripts don't match. But if we did VTB, So negative 3 meters per second i hat. Now I can do VAT plus VTB. And looking at this, now my inners match. My first is going to be A, so I have VA. My last is B. So VAB, so that gets me the VAB. And now I just have to write what VAT is. VAT is uh, two meters per second negative. VTB is negative three meters per second. So my VAB is gonna be negative five meters per second in the I hat direction. And let's just think about that, right? If Beyonce is moving three here and Adele is moving two this way, then Adele is moving five this way if we are in the reference frame of Beyonce. VBG is going to be VBG, right, 13 meters per second, but flipped, and so we get negative 13 meters per second I hat. Velocity of Adele relative to the ground is going to be 
So we have to have A at the front, something plus something ground. Well, we know the velocity of the train to the ground, and we know velocity of Adele to the train, so then we can write it that way. So velocity of Adele relative to the train is negative two meters per second. Velocity of the train relative to the ground is 10 meters per second, and so that's gonna get us eight meters per second. And lastly, the velocity of the train relative to Adele is the velocity of Adele relative to the train, just flipped so that we would get plus two meters per second I hat. So, once we get over a little bit of scariness with this, and once we're able to make sure that our inner subscripts are always matching, and do whatever re reasons we need to do to get that to happen, then we get pretty easy for these subscripts. The math is as simple as we can get in this class.